Never judge a controller by its shell. Here's what's really inside the $18 Light Radio 2 SIM. Quick note first, Beta FPV sent me this controller for free. I've also made a full review, and I'll point you to it at the end. The first thing you feel is how light it is, so I don't expect a lot of parts in here. Now let's open it up. I take out the screws on the back and lift the shell. And yeah, that's pretty much what I guessed. There's one main board, two standard gimbals, the gimbals are the two sticks you move to control the drone, and a set of four position switches. These gimbals look like basic potentiometer gimbals, not Hall Effect ones. Hall Effect gimbals use magnets and sensors, so they're smoother and don't wear out as fast. Hot gimbals use a mechanical slider, which is cheaper and fine for a sim radio. Let's look closer. I take out the board. The brain of the radio is an APM32 microcontroller from Gihi. That's a 32-bit chip, the little computer that reads the sticks and buttons and sends the signal to your PC. The gimbals most likely go into the analog inputs. Analog means it reads a smooth range of values from the stick position. And the switches go into digital inputs, on or off, simple. Now about feel and tuning. These gimbals don't offer adjustments, the throttle, your up-down power stick, is fixed by a metal spring plate. You cannot set the tension harder or softer here. No screw for that. No extra notches. It's very basic by design. So overall the build is simple. One board, two basic gimbals, four position switches, and a light shell. I don't see real upgrade paths, no drop-in hall gimbals, no easy tension mods. For most people this is use as is. But honestly, at $18, you shouldn't expect high-end parts. As I said in my review, it does the job for sim practice. Learn stick control, crash for free, build muscle memory. That's it for the teardown. If you want the full pros and cons and who should buy this, watch the full review next.